Uh, I'll talk about the shows that we did, the one show that we did on Saturday. We got to open for Garth Brooks, and it's pretty awesome. It was almost like a fantasy camp weekend for me. Yeah. Because got up Friday afternoon, and I did some NIL stuff with some of the athletes at Arkansas, which now you can hire athletes and they can be paid. So we've got a clothing brand, and I worked with like seven of the athletes, and we shot a bunch of stuff that will be coming out pretty soon. And then after that, went in, hung out with the head coach, of the Arkansas football team, Coach Pittman, and went to the football complex. It was just like if I got to create the perfect weekend of Arkansas sports and then Garth, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like I owe somebody some money to, like, fantasy camp somewhere. Uh, and then Saturday we went, and we did a sound check at, like, 3 at Razorback Stadium. And empty was really cool because I've been in that stadium a bunch, a bunch of times going to football games. But when it was packed, it was even wilder because I've never seen that stadium full of people on the ground. I believe it was the most attended event in Arkansas history because that's the biggest venue in the state, but they've never had people on the ground as well. So that the field was also covered. So we were going to go on and do 30 minutes. And we were talking to Garth beforehand. And so we get there and, and Garth and Trisha are finishing their sound check. And it's, everything's pretty loose to be such a tightly run you know, perfectly sounding ship. Everybody's just real chill and cool. And so we get there, and we're just hanging out, ready to go do our thing, and Garth and Trisha are still singing. I think they were doing, I'm on the inside. What's that song? I need no. Shallow. 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 Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. And so we walk up, and I know them. But still, it's like, it never leaves me that that's Garth Brooks. And then it's Trisha. Yeah. And so I was like, I don't want to bother them. Well, of course, they don't even see it that way. So they come over and they're like, what's happening? You guys ready? And I'm like, yeah, we're ready. You know, a quarter of me still has a little bit of nerves about it. Just excited. And Garth says, hey, you know, you can use this whole stage. And I'm like, what do you mean? It's, it's an entire circle. And most of the time when there's an opening act, the big act says, this is your small space. And this big space is for us. But you get the small space. And we don't want you to use the big space because this is our spot, and we want to really break that in with the people. And Garth's like, use it all. Run around. Like, go over there. Do that. And I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> you want? You're telling me I can go to all the places that you can only go. And it's like, I don't care. This is, like, our home together. And so we, we finished talking, and we you can take a picture and talk to Trisha a little bit. And then I, one, of their, one of Garth's guys comes over. And is like, you can use the whole stage. And I'm like, I'm not going to use the whole stage. The opening act doesn't do that. And he's like, no, you'll use the whole stage or I'll give you a knuckle sandwich after the show. And I was like, okay, I guess, sir. So what'd you so I doing? used the whole stage. Okay. Only a couple of times because there are people sitting all around it. You know, it's in the middle and the stadium circles it. But an, uh, a headlining act just doesn't allow that to happen. I guess Garth wasn't threatened, nor, nor <laughs> should he be. <laughs> but yeah. it was really nice, it, it just super kind as a headliner to allow that. Secondly, we're talking about the show and he goes, hey, you know... Um, if you guys are playing and you feel it, you're feeling it. He goes, just keep playing. He says, I don't care how long you play. What? Exactly. <laughs> he said, if you're feeling it, just keep playing. And I'm like, playing what? You know, he said, if it's going great, stay, play more songs. And I said, they'll kill us. And he goes, no, they won't. He said, because you'll know if you're feeling it. And then I said, well, what if it's like two hours later and we're still, and Trisha goes, no, I'll come stop that yeah. if you're doing that. <laughs> so just the loveliest of hosts. And, you know, we go out, and Garth was super cool. And he's like, we're going to make sure it's dark before you guys go on. Because he wanted it to really feel like, a, you know, us being a part of the show, too. And so we go on, and it was just kind of a blur at first. It kind of Because it's pretty emotional. It's like where I grew up. It's like my favorite place in the whole world. The fans were just extremely generous. Um, and then we played our set, and... It was over, and I really started to feel like it was super cool when it was over. Because while we're doing it, I feel like I got to work. I got to perform. We were brought here to not be a nuisance to people. Now, worried that some of our funny songs maybe wouldn't translate to a huge crowd, but it's pretty good. I mean, we finished it pretty good. So when you did finish, like, what emotions were you feeling? Because when I watched a video of you coming out of the tunnel, like, to meet Caitlin, and then y'all walked off, it was almost like I was watching you leave, like, a major sporting event like like I won like the Super Bowl yes like yeah. you're coming through the tunnel and you're walking out and your wife's meeting you and you'll walk through and you're fist bumping the crowd like it just seemed like 
you know, biggest sporting event in history, but you're not an athlete. Yes, I am. Just not there on that time. <laughs> okay. I'm not an athlete. Something like that. I played, you play basketball every yesterday. day. But that, two was, hours. that was the energy I was mm-hmm. feeling. Yeah, it was cool. And it, I think a lot of that energy, though, was because that's my spot, like my personal most home spot. And I didn't fall down. It was all, I mean, you know, it's a pretty good show. Uh, Stacy Zahn in Fayetteville, Arkansas. The Garth show was fantastic. And we can talk about that later, but he's the greatest performer I've ever seen oh, in my yeah. life. Uh, Stacy in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Thank you for calling. What's going on? Hey, morning, studio. Morning. morning. Hey, um, I just wanted to let you know, I actually work in Fayetteville, and I work for um, uh, Washington County Court Services, and we have security every day, and they volunteer and work these big concerts like this. And they, two of my security guys were working on the floor, and they said that before the show, you and Caitlin came walking by, and you kind of went out of your way to say hello to them and how nice you were and how you're like the nicest celebrity they've ever met. And it was just, it meant a lot to them because most people just disregard security. Oh, I appreciate that. Um, I, the word celebrity is being thrown around pretty loosely here. I'll give you that. <laughs> um, and if they think I'm the nicest, well, they must not have been lucky enough to meet Garth Brooks. Uh, but, you know, I, those guys are making sure that I don't get stabbed. Got to appreciate that, you know? If, if someone stab Eddie, I'm, all, I'm okay with that. Mm. But I just want I to be in front them. of me, human shield, you know? <laughs> uh, but, I mean, come on. They're out there busting their butts. So uh, just happy to say hello to people that are also happy to be there. And I appreciate that call, Stacy. Hey, I have to say I was disappointed with one thing. I thought you might bring Caitlin up and introduce her. She has no interest at all <laughs> at being on a stage ever in her whole life. She would have killed you if you said that. Especially that crowd. Yes. So she, many she just, she's not for it. It's not her thing. Uh, but she was there. She, she met a lot of people. A lot of people coming up, taking pictures when she was hanging out. But thank you, Stacy. I appreciate that. Uh, here's Kimberly in, in Arkansas who wants to mention something. Kimberly, you're on the air. What's going on? Morning, studio. Morning. Hey, I just wanted to say you are fantastic. Me and four of my girlfriends came up there, and we stayed at a house in Friday night and Saturday night. We came to the concert. Two of them had never heard of the Raging Idiot. One of them fell madly in love with Eddie, and the other one is just so enamored and loved y'all so much that she's going to be an avid listener. Today's her first day listening. But the prank you pulled when y'all were saying, are you ready for the main act to come up? That was hilarious because there was 80,000 people on their feet, and you're like, just kidding. Sort of, yes. So we wrote a (laughs) song, and we had it up. You know, we had posted it before the show. Wrote a song. It's like, nobody cares about the opening act. And there's a rhyme that's like, we may not be a band you know, and you only want to be the, here for the star of the show. And what we were doing was just kind of bait and switching them. And the star of the show, in our mind, was the chorus of the song. And so we're like, are you ready? We never say he. We never say Garth. We never allude to Garth. <laughs> Waiting for the star of the show. I guess they thought Garth Brooks was going to be introduced during our set. Yeah, well, why would yeah. they think that? We have, a, we have a mini drum set. <laughs> None of the big lights. We're like, here he is. Man, we got him good. That's good. What, Amy? I mean, yes, obviously. Yeah. It was a perfect moment for him to walk out. No, no, it, it was not. It was not That's not how he gets That's on stage. That's not how Garth Brooks comes out. It's a big. <laughs> he doesn't let this little band introduce him. A four piece with no bass guitar. <laughs> Some people, they don't know that. Y'all. Yeah. Everybody's phone. Everybody starts standing up recording. <laughs> and I was like, oh boy, they're either going to riot or it's going to be the funniest joke ever. Oh. Uh, but I appreciate that call. We could talk more about it later. Um, <laughs> It's just an amazing, amazing weekend. It was. It was an amazing weekend all the way around. And um, thank you very much. And for everybody who was super nice to us, we really appreciate that. We're not doing any more shows. Everybody's like, are you opening in LSU? We are not. Oh, for Garth? The Raging Idiots right away. Well, a lot of people were like, hey, we think you should do a stadium act. Yeah, yeah, right. After that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They didn't really say that. It's, it's about-